So first of all, we will start by uh, giving an overview of the situation to date in Lebanon based on the data uh, until the 1st of October 2024. 1,873 deaths, amongst which 50 children and 38 health personnel. 9,134 injured, amongst which 65 health personnel. Three hospital evacuated till today, 37 uh, primary health care centers closed amongst 317. One million people displaced. According to IOM, 350,000 uh, people uh, displaced uh, registered in the shelters. Almost uh, 875 shelters already identified. The number is moving every day, including schools, universities, and clubs. And uh, the capacity of 70% of these shelters is already full. The Lebanese international organizations, uh, NGOs in Lebanon, uh, expressed an urgent call for a ceasefire. We, Fondation Merieux, also join our um, voice to this call uh, uh, for immediate ceasefire and the respect of principle of uh, international humanitarian law and the protection of humanitarian workers and national teams. Um, a flash appeal has been uh, called uh, with $425 million of dollar in order to support and to assist uh, the displaced population. Also, we can, um, we can uh, highlight the fact that Syrian refugees and Lebanese also uh, moved from Lebanon to Syria. Uh, Fondation Merieux, uh, a partner of uh, aid development uh, for, with different partners and uh, development agencies uh, is uh, now uh, moving into uh, working in this emergency uh, setting. We usually work on fighting infectious diseases, supporting uh, the laboratory system and access to diagnostics, also supporting the primary health uh, uh, care system and centers and access to uh, care and now we have to uh, move our and shift our activities into emergency along with the local community and along with the local uh, uh, partners. Uh, Fondation Merieux uh, in Lebanon uh, is supporting the laboratory system uh, through uh, a partnership with the Ministry of Health and also with the direct support of Laboratoire Rodolphe Merieux in Lebanon, uh, but also is working on the uh, primary health care uh, activities along with the Ministry of Public Health with the support of the uh, uh, government of Monaco uh, in partnership with the local partners, uh, particularly uh, Amel NGO, uh, and uh, local uh, municipality in Baalbek al uh, uh, In this area, we uh, uh, supported the establishment uh, and the development of a primary health care uh, center who became a model uh, for integration of activities based, of course, on the SOPs and the recommendation uh, and the criteria of the Ministry of Health, but also integrating a new component in order to take into account the need of uh, displaced refugees and also local uh, community. Uh, in this time of uh, crisis, uh, there is a need of shifting and also continuity of services. Uh, this is one of the strength of the Lebanese system whom uh, was resilient and showed flexibility and agility and capacity to adapt. Um, we, um, we, we will be working in the coming uh, 
days and weeks. And we are counting, counting on our partners in order to support us to be able to uh, adapt uh, the usual activities into this um, uh, particular context of uh, uh, conflict uh, that uh, is an, addition, an additional burden on the health system, on the Lebanese system, who have already faced a, a multiple uh, crisis.